you're absolutely you're you're right. Yes, it it did it did. Um, uh, there was there wasn't. I mean, there was a small p political political um, uh, uh, manifestation came out of a number of the diaries. They were not so much large p uh, heart worn on sleeve type of thing. They 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 were more subtle in the way that I mean there was a. A young one of one of the first ones was a young guy who sort of uh, well he was coming out basically, um, and I think that to have to have that that's the small p political type of things. I mean the, about the pressure on young gay people etc. Uh, and and you know that that sort of uh, it was less about Sheffield Police Watch, more about uh, real people's small p political existences I suppose. Um, it, I mean, it could be seen as quite a big sea change, really, and it, really the uh, sort of uh, the, the something that was coming before all the generation of, I suppose, what's happened in the last decade or so of video and all the, the whole concentration on on me rather than on the wider yeah. world. Yeah, yeah, well, it, that's that's true. It, it it does put the concentration on me, and it depends then on on who the me is and how they want to wield it. Yes, it it. Um, they they were they were seen as being uh, intimate and uh, revealing of the me rather than uh, major political. Um, if there were a handful of them for me to sort of dig out of the archive to have a look at and maybe refer to, apart from ones you've mentioned already, um, I, I I always think of the Kevin Allen one because I remember sitting in a community group in East London where I was working then and showing it to a group of students I was working with and thinking, you know, wow, this is different. You know, the technology we're using can be used professionally and make really interesting and accessible programs, you know. So for me, that one always sticks in my mind. But are there, are there others that stick in your mind? Yeah, uh, was that on the road with Bobby's Army? Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, they, well, I tell you what I've, I, I, I'll do. I mean, I'll, I'll dig back in the archive. And I'll look at you. You haven't got a list of titles of you in front of you. Uh, well, I, if I turn around and grab my um, thing here, yes, I will have. Uh, if you just, if you just um, mention the titles. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this will be going from I'll go from the back forwards because so the uh, some of the early ones were right. uh, P- Pagan Belfast. That must be yes. That was Robert Wilson. Three weeks yeah. in Calcutta. Uh, yeah. By Demons, which you mentioned. Yeah. Spike and Clinton. Yeah. Just, um, for, go on. just for the record. On the March with Bobby's Army. <laughs> off, off the rails. Okay, hang I, Let's go back one. Yeah. Uh, just, just for the record. Yeah. I think that was, that was a guy who was a wedding video. Maker, um, and what was it about? Was it about? It the said it's um, uh, 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 just for the record. Professional photographer David Francis is, plans to record family relationship changes when his grandmother becomes ill. Yeah, that's right, and and it sort of it sort of uh, is is um, it that one got quite a lot of of um, criticism. Um, because it's quite mawkish, and I think he was. I mean, this, this, it, you've got to understand pretty quickly that the obviously the nature and personality of the people wielding the camera uh, was key as to as to how how uh, as, as to the way in which it would be would work as a diary, and he was quite mawkish about what he did, um, and uh, I think he was sort of crying. I, I can't really remember the diary fully, but I know full well that. Um, it was selected. Do you remember? Do you know the input conference? Uh, I don't know. No. Yeah. There used to be an absolutely brilliant uh, conference held in different parts of the world called Input, and Input was a um, is funded by all the all, all public service broadcasters who used to send two or three of their people to this conference uh, every year, and so it was a very large affair, brilliantly put together and run and all sorts of, of films were selected by the conference organisers and when you were invited you never knew whether or not um, they were inviting your film because they loved it or because they hated it 
But what ha- what had to happen was you had to appear with the film and be prepared to stand up and talk about it afterwards in in uh, matters which either either could so, was sort of sort of become a theatre of adulation or a theatre of horror. <laughs> <laughs> you never knew which one you were heading into. Um, that particular diary was selected for one of those conferences, and I went to it. And uh, it, it was interesting because it started off as a theatre of horror because they hated it, uh, but it soon uh, actually got a backlash in the audience happening, and uh, a, a lot of people who were who were very very pro the idea came through. So it really did divide people. It's a divisive diary that one. It's mawkish in the way that it operates. You have to look at it to find out why. Uh, I'll dig that one out and and, and take a look at yeah. that. Yes, because that's that's um, interesting. And Spike and Clinton probably le- not terribly good. Um, uh, it's sort of uh, Spike and Clinton. We had quite a lot of issues with their, you know, with their sort of input to the project. And they, but then you would do, wouldn't you? If you if you pick a couple of uh, homeless kids to do it with, then obviously you, you know, you it's subject to all those various problems that you get in that area when trying to ensure that they remain dedicated to the task. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I think I think of those of those other titles on on the March of Bobby's Army is the one that was the one that it was a two hour diary I think wasn't it I mean for it was, BBC yeah two, it was quite long yeah BBC Two to have run a two hour diary it was because Alan Yentob really really liked it and was prepared to go with it I didn't know who Kevin Allen was when he came forward he just came in off the street suddenly there was this young guy who seemed pretty interesting in front of us and I really had no idea who he was when we actually we had to release him to go with a camera in something like four or five days. Never found out anything more about him. He just sort of gave him the camera and off he set. And then, and then for about, um, about 10 days after that time, I then had to have running battles, which I never anticipate would happen with BBC Sport. Cause Kevin Allen kept doing things like getting his way into, into FA press conferences <laughs> in uh, Italy without any, uh, any, um, a permit at all and uh, rubbing people's noses up the wrong way and very soon I was up all night with, with calls from the head of BBC Sport who was a particularly aggressive character at the time uh, trying to uh, you know sort of instill in the ideas of what video diaries were trying to do um, unsuccessfully probably <laughs> but um, but anyway he came through and in the end of course it was a, it is, I think it's a great diary because it's well it's, I loved it and I must say I was showing it to a much younger colleague of mine the other day uh, just, uh, well, it was about a few months ago now because we were taking a clip out of it for a university talk I was giving. And um, he just started watching it. <laughs> he said, <laughs> just, uh, and a couple of hours ticked by and he suddenly realised yeah. that he watched yeah. the whole thing. Uh, and it great. still looks very current, I have to say, of all the, bi- all the oh, clips right. that I selected for that oh, university right. talk. There was something That's about it. that programme that seems very, very of now, you know, and, and yet it was, it was ahead of its time almost. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. I mean, Kevin was Kevin, Kevin was thinking about what he could do with the camera, and he was using it to its full advantage. Um, and and of course, he's become a we've become a Hollywood director now, isn't he? I don't know if he still is. I think, he I think to, he's, 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 he's in two, Ireland at the moment. All oh, right, he's had two feature films made. Oh, he's made two. He's directed two feature films. I remember. I remember them. They're not terribly good. He seems um, to be running a festival in Ireland, if the internet's to be believed. Uh, all right. Just try yeah. and track him down to talk yeah. about his experience. Yeah, no, he's, well, he'd, it'd be really interesting to hear what he says about it now. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad to hear it's stood the test of time. That's good. Well, it, it seems to have done. So then good. some of the others, um, probably, there was, were the one, two, three, four, yeah, going back. Um, Off the Rails was one of them, which was, um, uh, he, that's the coming out one. I all think. right. Yeah, that, that possibly is. I can't remember yeah. precisely. Go on. Um, au revoir, Stepney, about... Um, oh, yeah. A couple going abroad to France. That's quite characterful. Not a great deal of importance behind it, but quite characterful. Um, surviving Memories, which doesn't sound particularly anything. Uh, wishing her strength thus began a journey which brought them close. So the only comment here. Yeah, no, I, I can't... Not I remember. can't. I don't think I did that one. It's Bob Long one, I think. Uh, certain, is it? Um, doesn't say. Doesn't no. say. Um, man behind the shotgun. Uh, about a twelve-year prison that, that sentence. Was, that, that was definitely Bob Long. That's that. That was an interesting one. That was a prisoner. Yeah. Doing a diary. Yes, Bob did that one. Because uh, he was into prison. He did a lot of prison diaries, and he worked in prison, didn't he? Said. Yeah, and I remember. I remember the um, 
the uh, prisoner wielding the camera coming to 